Hey, what's up, Musers? This is John at muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And I have a really exciting video tutorial for you today. Uh, I just released the browser centering widget that allows you to center elements directly in the center of your Adobe Muse website. Uh, and you can fix the elements in the center or you can have them centered at the beginning. And then when you scroll, it scrolls with the rest of the website. Uh, so here we're using it uh, in conjunction with the full screen slideshow cover widget. Uh, so if, if you have used that widget, the full screen slideshow cover, and you wanted to center something directly on top of it, well now you can with the browser centering widget. Uh, so here I have the an example site uh, with the widget, and here we have a text box. So if I resize the browser, we can see that that text box always stays in the center of the browser. No matter how big or small I make the browser, this text box will always stay in the center. And here I have the full screen slideshow cover so I can go through the slides. And just like that, we have it in the center. So you can put your logo or any element you'd like in the center. And here, for example, too, I actually have the Muse for You logo. And if I resize, <clears throat> excuse me, we can see that that logo resizes and stays in the center of the browser. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show how to use the widget. Uh, it's very simple to use, uh, so it won't take very long. Um, so yeah, this is the browser centering widget. And to access this widget, you simply go to museforyoushop.com. And here you can click on the pop-up. And here you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. Or if you'd like to subscribe with PayPal, you can click here and subscribe with PayPal. The browser centering widget is right here. And here you can click add to cart if you'd like to purchase individually. Or again, you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. Uh, here are the features included and here are the widget options. And this is the preview page I just showcased in the beginning. So we have the, the, uh, this example here with the text box and this example here with the logo. All right, so let's get started. I'll go right into Adobe Muse. So here I have a blank site. Um, and if you just open up Adobe Muse, you can just go to file, new site to have a blank site. Um, and then I'll go ahead and bring in the browser centering widget. Um, so it's in the library panel. And let me move this over here. And if you don't see the library panel, you can go to window and click on library. Uh, so here I'll type in uh, browser for browser centering widget, and I'll click, hold and drag and place onto my Adobe Muse website. Uh, so one new thing that I'm doing with all the widgets is I'm adding this option here. So you can see what the graphic style name is within the widget as you're working on your website. Um, so this will be added to the simple and sweet uh, on scroll animations, the animator, and all widgets that uh, have a graphic style name in them. So you can easily see, you don't have to open the widget options. You can see, okay, this widget has the graphic style name center one. Okay, so I dra uh, yeah, dragged and dropped the browser centering widget. Um, so now let me center any element. So I'm gonna create a rectangle here by selecting the rectangle tool. And yeah, I'll zoom in here just so you can see that it's GS for graphic style and then it says center one. And if I open the, the uh, widget options, it says center one in here. Okay, so just uh, kind of sidetracked there, but I wanted to mention um, this new feature here. All right, so now I'm gonna create a rectangle. So I'm gonna hold down shift. I'll create a perfect square. It doesn't have to be a perfect square, but I'll create one there and I'll color it uh, blue there. So the first thing you need to do when using this widget is just place it at the top of your Adobe Muse website. Um, if it's over here, it's not gonna work. It needs to be directly at the top. It can be anywhere. It can be like over here, over here, um, as long as it's at the top. And if it's not exactly at the top or you're having trouble kind of getting it directly at the top, you can just go into the Y uh, coordinate here and just enter in zero and that'll place it directly at the top. Um, so now that this element is at the top, we wanna click on it and then click on the graphic styles panel. Uh, if you don't see the graphic styles panel, you can go to window and click on graphic styles. Okay, and then here I'll go to the uh, icon here that looks like a piece of paper to create a new style. I'll click there and I'll call this center one. Okay, because that's the graphic style name that's in the widget. So if we open the widget options, the graphic, graphic style name is center one. So I want to apply this graphic style name to this element so that this widget, uh, the properties of this widget uh, get assigned to this element. Um, and that's all we have to do. So now I'll go to file, preview page and browser. And just like that, I have a centered element. I can resize the browser and looks good. And let's say for instance, uh, I wanted it fixed. Um, Actually, let, let me do something real quick. I'm gonna add some more website space. So I'm going to uh, click, hold and drag and drag this down. And I'll go to file, preview page and browser. So we can see it's initially centered. 
And if I resize, it's all centered. But if I scroll, the element moves with the website, which is great. Um, let's say I wanted this to not move with the website. I would just uh, go into the widget options and click on fixed and center. So this element will always stay uh, within the middle of the browser. So here I'll scroll, I'm scrolling, and it stays fixed in the center. Looks good. So to provide more of an example, I'm gonna bring in the full screen slideshow cover widget. So I'm gonna go into my library panel. I'm gonna type in FSC and I'll bring in the full screen slideshow cover with overlay. All right, looks good. And then I'll just add a few images. So I'll go to image one, add file, and I have a few images here. Um, so we'll do this one, do image two, do that one, image three, let's do this one and image four, we'll do this one. All right, so there I have four images and I'll go ahead and go to file preview page and browser. And there I have the full screen slideshow cover widget. Uh, so again, I'll draw the element. Uh, I probably could have kept it uh, there, kind of deleted it, but I'll redraw it. Here's the element, I'll place it at the top and I'll go to my graphic styles panel and give it the graphic style name center one. So I'll go to file preview page and browser and just like that, we have this element centered within the browser. And if I scroll down, uh, the element is fixed because in the widget, we have it set to fix. So I'll uncheck that, the fixed and center, and I'll preview again, and I'll scroll up. And as we can see, this element initially is fixed in the center, so I can resize like this. But once I scroll, it scrolls with the rest of the website. Looks good. And you can do this with any other elements. So I'll bring in the Muse for You logo. So I'll click, hold, and drag, and I'll place it at the top here, and I'll give it the graphic style name, center one. So now I'll preview in the browser, and I think it might have a blue fill in the back. So let me take out that blue fill. Just go to click on the element, go to fill, and I'll select none for the fill. Then I'll preview in the browser. And just like that, we have the logo uh, fully centered uh, within the browser. Looks good. All right, so let's say we wanted to add text as well. So I'm gonna add a text box. I'm just gonna create some text. Um, you know, this is some text, just like that. And I'll zoom in so we can see that this is some text. And I'll change the font to Lotto. And we'll make it a bit bigger. So let's say 36, I'll center it and let's give it a background fill of let's say green oh no that's the color um, we're going to give the text box a fill so i'll click on the text box and i'll go to green and we'll make the text white here all right and we'll shrink the text box just like that and we'll bring it all the way to the top and i'll say zero for the y coordinate all right so i'll click on this element go to my graphic styles panel and say center one um, it gives a fill here so we can just change it to that green again because uh, when you create the first graphic style if that graphic style has a fill that fill will be applied to any other element that gets applied that graphic style so center one had the fill of light blue so it assigned the light blue fill to this element but we can just go ahead and change it after the graphic style has been applied and you'll see this little plus symbol here uh, showing that this um, this graphic style has been altered or has been changed a bit all right, so let's preview in the browser. And just like that, we have text and it is responsive within Muse, looks good. So if you wanted to add some padding, um, you could. Like there's these align or the, the text options, I'll double click in the text and you can add some padding to the left. So I'll say 20, 20, uh, just like that. Nope, that was indentation. Um, here I'll say 20 to the right, before I'll say 20 and after I'll say 20. So we just added some padding to this text box. So when it does get responsive, it's not completely touching the, the sides here. There we go. And just like that, we have some text that is responsive within the browser and that's centered within the browser. Looks good. And I might make a video on these text options here. Uh, basically, I'll zoom in. So this is here. This is left margin. This is right margin. This is space before and this is space after. So it just adds some padding and margin around the text. So when the text box gets uh, shrinks down, it's not touching the, the edges of the box and looks like kind of tight and constrained. All right, so let me zoom back out. And you can center multiple elements on the website. So I'll bring in the Muse for You logo. 
let me just go up here i'll click hold and drag and place right there you just want to be careful that when layering two elements um that they don't hit inherit each other's properties and i'll showcase that so for this one i'm not going to place it directly on top i'm going to put it to the right and i'll give it the graphic style name center one and i'll take out the fill here so i'll preview in the browser and just like that we have two elements centered on top of each other so let's say i were to place this element on top of this element um, it'll kind of be a bit wonky so it does something like this and this is happening because um, this element is inheriting kind of these properties from this element so if you do have multiple elements you'll just want to kind of disperse them and not put them on top of each other like so and then you have two elements that are centered perfect looks good so that is the browser centering widget. Um, I'm really happy that I was able to add this to the shop and the subscription. Um, this has been, been requested quite a bit. And with the full screen slideshow cover, you can now add any element over the slideshow and center it within the slideshow. You can fix it in the center. So um, here I can say fixed and center and preview. And there it stays fixed in the center. Or I can uncheck fixed and center. And it'll scroll scroll with the web, rest of the website just like that looks good uh, so that's it for this video tutorial again to get access to this widget you simply go to museforyeshop.com and here you can click on the pop-up and here you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets i come out with for 39 a year or if you'd like to subscribe with paypal you can click here and subscribe with paypal the browser centering widget is right here and here you can click add to cart to purchase individually or again you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets i come out with for 39 a year okay and here are a few of the widget options and here's the preview page just like that we have a text box and we have the logo yep there we go and there's the logo looks good so that's it for this video tutorial again i do this to help you build awesome websites without code uh, if you like this video tutorial you can subscribe below also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com so again thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video tutorial thank you